I'm talking about this. Now this is a ride on toy. Kids sit in, sit in it and they drive it around like a real life car. Parents can control it using, using a remote. But let me tell you something. Parents can control it. But the controls used to control this car are the same like this car. You, you accelerate, it just accelerates. Full power accelerates. It's not the same feeling as this one. This one. This one is way better than this one. So, which means the controls for this one are way better. So, which means, what do you think would happen if I install the same controls that they have in this RC car, in this one? It's going to be a real life RC car, a proper RC car, because that's what makes an RC car. It may not have the suspension like this one, but it will have the same feeling as this one, because I will be able to go nice and slow and then nice and fast as well just accelerate and the thing is because this one is also a remote control car it means that there's a motor that turns the front wheels and there's two motors that drive the back this is what you call an rc car and i'm gonna be upgrading this rc car to the max i'm gonna upgrade it so much that if I gave you the option to choose which RC car you want, you would choose this one.
The story of how I got this is quite simple. Someone threw it away and I took it because I saw potential in this. So the first step in upgrading this is I removed the seat. Tiny little button, push it, remove the seat. Then I installed another motor because it only came with one motor. But here's the catch. As you can see, they're different sizes. That's because when I first got it, it saved six volts. So only I, I bought a six volt motor. That is a six volt motor. But it turns out under the hood was a 12 volt motor. Of all things, a 12 volt motor. But that's not a problem because it may be six volts, but it should hold its own weight. So two is better than one. So I installed it. Now we have two rear motors. The second thing I did was install connections. Remove the old, removed all the electronics and replaced them with new connectors. Now these connectors are actually going to connect onto the speed controllers. These are brush speed controllers that operate at 12 volts. Right, the speed controllers. So we have two connectors for the rear motors. Then there's one connector for the front motor that turns the wheel. So basically how this is going to work is there's two speed controllers. So one speed controller can actually power two motors so one speed controller is powering the rear motors and all i have to do is just connect the speed controllers okay so that's covered so i connect everything is connected to the speed controllers i'm able to use it as a proper remote control car an rc car now it's operated 12 volts so you have to use a 12 volt battery. I could use that tiny little lithium battery, but it's small, it's small, it's a small battery. So I decided to use done, a gel battery, a 12 volt gel battery. This beast here, yes, it's heavy and it's not a lithium battery, but it has more capacity. This is the same type of battery I use in my uh, electric scooter. So all I have to do is just connect the battery to the speed controller and once everything is connected, right, once everything is connected, I just put the seat, just put the seat back in like that. Then as you can see it's locked in place, then I'm able to drive it like an RC car. That's everything. Okay, the car is on and now I'm going to drive it like an RC car, as you can see, this is just slow, so remember what I was saying, going very very slow, look at this, I can go very very slow, and then I can hold it at that speed, this is not even fast, then I can increase it the speed a little bit more I can increase it even more more it's time to go max power now let's do a launch test okay let's see what it can do okay yeah pretty cool Time for some off-roading. As you can see, it's way better than the small RC car. It performs way better. 
Let's see what else we can do. Let's try here. Okay, so the only thing this toy car doesn't have is grip. It doesn't have a lot of grip. But that's just fine. The wheel is locked up. Come on, baby. That's oh, weird. It doesn't want to turn. Let's see. It's under the hood. Oh, the motor is cooked. That is horrible. So, that's going to be a problem. Yeah. It does say six volts after all, as you can see, it says six volts, so that's sad, but it's not a, I don't know if it's a problem, I'll have to look. Anyway, thank you for watching, please consider liking or subscribing, I hope to see you in another video, bye.